Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight was the host of the newlywed game for 22 years. Folks, from Hollywood, here's Bob Eubanks. Man, the, the band just played the rock in his version of the newlywed oh, game theme. My national anthem, man. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you listen to it on the CD and you remember Oh, yeah, drive? every day, every day, yeah. That's no. very, that's crazy. No, I, I know, it's I'm a sick man. <laughs> yeah, well, I would know. I, I make my living in a very strange way, but you actually, for 22 years, made your living asking people, what's the strangest place you ever made whoopee? Where is it, Conan? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Florida, yeah. Florida. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 first of all, why the, why the word whoopee? Well, back, uh, you know... You couldn't say, you couldn't say... I didn't want to say make love. I didn't think that you should have to... This is back in the 60s, you remember. I didn't think you should have to explain to your children what make love means until you're ready to do that. They're and not so going to ask about what whoopee well, is? Well, whoopee could be having a party. It could be anything. And so I, I felt real good with, with it, you know, until that famous answer came up. You know? <laughs> the that famous would, answer? That would be in the blank, Bob. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, you haven't heard that. Oh, I have heard that story, yes. Yeah. Let's hope, uh, what, you ask someone and they, they said, come on, you can say it, it's late night TV. No, you can say it, I won't say it. I'll say really? It. You what? say it. <laughs> well, the, the answer is, that what's the strange place you ever made will be? that have to be up, Bob. No, 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 no. Oh! No. <laughs> Holly! Holly, it's... Wait a minute, Holly. Uh, Holly, it is not that kind of show. I think you should leave. Oh, I'm hey. sorry. <laughs> You know what's no. fascinating about this story? I don't care where I go in these United States, three or four times a day, someone will say, I saw that. The funny thing about it is it never happened. Uh, it, it is didn't just happen? a fable. And I had a guy walk up to me the other day, and he says, you know, I'm a Top Gun pilot in the Persian Gulf, and I heard a funny story about, about your show. I said, you kid, you got to be kidding me. It just never It happened. never happened? It would never made it on television. I mean, look at the way she said it. It was <laughs> It's just a joke that everybody... It was everybody it was thinks... <laughs> well, where I come from, they said, up. Uh, oh, please. <laughs> she must be from the East. <laughs> I'm from back East. She's Holly, married. you have ruined tonight's I episode. I know, I know. I'm uh, sorry. I'm so embarrassed. No, but yeah, it's amazing how those things start. These, these legends come uh, about. about are there, is there anything that happened uh, on, the, uh, on the Newlywood game? There must be some things that happened that really, you know, were, are true. I had some funny things happen. I mean, you know, when you deal with people that many... I remember one time I asked a little girl, I said, what's the one thing that uh, your husband told you not to talk about. She says, that my husband and my brother are gonna kill my uncle for the insurance. <laughs> you know, I did, I did this. Yeah. Wow, really? That's only half of it. He came back and matched the answer. <laughs> and they hug and they kiss and they do all this stuff, you know, so, yeah. He's like, you're right, we were you're trying right, to kill yes. him. That's insane. It, it's, it, uh, I ask a little girl a very benign question. A little girl with a husband? What well, you... okay, not a little girl. I ask a young lady a very benign question. Okay. And she looked at me and she says, my husband's having an affair. And I saw all the blood leave his face. She said, you didn't know I knew, did you? I wanted to wait to national television to tell everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> However, they got the next question right. They were hugging and kissing during the whole day. <laughs> Well, you know, so ten minute, points will solve the problem. Yeah, the minute marriage. someone, the minute you give people turtle wax, you yeah, know, yeah. they're happy again. Yeah, selected especially for you. Yeah, it, it seals all wounds. Yeah. Brand new. We used to say, "You have won a brand new, selected especially for you." Like we would give them something used, you know. What did that mean when you? Because I remember that I used to uh, watch the show and you guys would say, "The present's been selected especially for you." What did that mean? That means that all four couples won the same thing. Oh. Yeah. So simple, isn't it? Scary. <laughs> You shyster. I know I'm not a good guy. All my illusions dash. I'm sorry about How that. How did the whole thing start? The, the idea, because they had such crazy game shows back yeah. in the you know, 60s, early 70s. Yeah. Some of the game shows were, were so insane, pre such insane premises. How did this one start? A couple of guys wrote on a napkin, husbands predict wives, wives predict husbands. They took that to ABC. Mm -hmm. ABC took it to Chuck Barris, who had the dating game on. And mm -hmm. then we did a, a live presentation uh, for the network, no cameras. Mm -hmm. And couple number one was a, an unknown comedian by the name of Dom DeLuise, right? And he was very funny in the whole thing. But what sold the show, and you've got to remember, this is 1966. Mm -hmm. The network guys are sitting there with all their suits on. They're mm -hmm. sitting in the front row. 1966, I asked the little girl down at the end, a little cute, cute young lady. I said, uh, uh, what's your favorite nickname for your husband? And she said, number <laughs> And quite frankly, that's what sold the newlywed game. <laughs> 
It's a great country and I a know. great industry we work but in. But you know, Howard Hughes, there, there's an article in Playboy. Howard Hughes wrote a letter, uh, and they, they published the letter in Playboy. He wrote a letter to Bob Mayhew, his number one gun. Mm -hmm. And this is when Hughes was sequestered up in, in the hotel in He's Las Vegas. He's a recluse. Yeah, a recluse, point. yes. Yeah. And he said, I just watched two of the, of the biggest pieces of crap I've ever seen on television. The dating game and the newlywed game cancel the offer to buy the ABC. <laughs> so really? because Based of those two that? shows, Howard Hughes did not buy ABC. <laughs> really? My contribution to society. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and, and wo the word whoopee for Whoopi, sex. yeah, whoopee will do it. I'm so glad we don't call it that anymore. I'm so glad. Whoopee is a four-letter word. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> Sorry. I had no response, so I decided to scare him. Well, yeah. <laughs> you it could works. have said love. <laughs> All right, well, Bob, we're, we're out of time, but, uh, you know, there's a lot we didn't, a lot of crazy things we didn't get to talk about. I hope you can come back sometime. Yeah, I got a new book coming out, too. Oh, really? Yeah, it, uh, we're going to do a... <laughs> do you want to... Hey, I came Do you want to do you wanna mention the LA. title on national television sure. by any chance? the book is called Where's the Strangest, Most Unusual Place You've Ever Made Whoopi? We're going to interview celebrities and non-celebrities, not with whom, but, but where? All right. And that's our new book coming out. Okay, work on oh, that that's... title, though. That's a crazy title. Uh... <laughs> All right, well, the tw you're doing the $25,000 game show live in Branson, Missouri at the Roy Clark Theater. Bob Eubanks, Everybody. thanks very Thank much you, for Colin. coming. Nice to Good to see you. We're right back with Medeski, Martin, and Wood. You don't want to miss that.